So, welcome to Curry Promotions. This is um, our segment here at uh, JNS Doncaster. We're doing a bit of a question answer type scenario. I'm your host. Um, we've got Joe Colley here on my left and on my right, which will be your left, I think, is uh, Lewis Rollo. So, we'll start off with Joe. Joe, 2018 was a great season. Let's talk about 2019. Um, how's that been going for you? Well. Anyway, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not serious. This house 2019 been going for you. That's about as good as yours. <laughs> this is a good year. <laughs> Cut me out. Cut me out. I'm out. We'll edit that bit out. Um, we'll start with Lewis. Um, Lewis, 2019 season on the Aprilia. Um, how's it been so far? Yeah, not too bad. Just obviously moving up into stock a thousand this year. Um, challenge and just see how we've got on. Good team, good bike and um, hopefully we can go again next year. Sounds excellent. We might need to put subtitles there for our English listeners. Um, he is Scottish, but a fast Scottish rider, that's for sure. Um, Knockhill's your home round, obviously. Um, you've been doing quite well uh, this season. I've been seeing some glimpses of challenging for race wins and stuff like that. A second year would obviously be key for you to try and capitalise on that. How do you feel moving towards the end of this season into the new new season next year? Yeah, well, obviously to get a year under your belt on the bike, um, the next again year you've been at the tracks on the bike and you kind of know what to expect. And the more you race in the class, the more you get used to people you're racing against as well, who obviously have loads of experience. Uh, championship standings wise, how do you fare in that? Are you contending for championship at the end of this year? Or are you looking for top three, top five, top ten? Where, whereabouts are you sitting? We're sitting fifth just now, so hopefully, well, Alex is in super bike. So if we get a couple of good results at the end of the year, we can maybe move up to fourth. Okay, excellent. So, uh, Joe, let's, let's take this seriously, shall we? We'll try again. We'll try Kawasaki, again. it's a new team this year? Brand new team, yeah. Okay, so new team, first time with the team. How's it been overall? Obviously, uh, results haven't been quite what you expected or what you're capable of. Um, is that a mixture with just understanding the new team? Or what's, what's been happening? Maybe you can tell more. Uh, it's exactly that, really. As you say, it's a new team, new bike, new everything. So trying to get even the people to understand the things that I want from the bike. That took a lot longer than what you want, and then we're getting to learn a new bike as well, so you can't really ask anybody in the paddock what, what the crack is, but it's been getting a bit better towards the end of the season, but it's the end of the season, so it's too late really, but uh, it's, it's all right. It's, it's not one of the best seasons by a long shot, but we're riding bikes and having fun, so what more can you say? Yeah, obviously racing motorbikes is all about those peaks and troughs, you know, it's yeah. the good times and the bad times, obviously it's how you carry yourself through them. Uh, looking forward to that next year, um, you know, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself back in the in the Super Stock 1000 class and trying to capitalise on that like Lewis, or are you looking to maybe make a change? Uh, well, it'd be nice to sort the Super, uh, super Stock out, really, because, as I say, last year I had a good year, so it'd be nice to come into this year and challenge for the championship, which unfortunately we haven't, so it'd be nice to go again and actually challenge for the championship. Or move on to bigger and better things, but it'd have to be the right package with the right team, which after a season like this season isn't realistic, I don't think. So we'd probably try again and stop thousand. Okay, fair enough. Um, my questions, guys. I'm going to start with Joe. Uh, favorite color? Red. Favorite motorcycle? Hmm. Oh, Davidson. How about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, favorite city? Leicester. You what? <laughs> Do you live in Leicester? Yeah. Okay. Um, favourite track? Ooh, that's a good one. Donington. Favourite race of all time that you've been in? Uh, it's one of the Super Moto, actually. And uh, I was in the class above. I can't even remember where it was, but it was a good race. So we'll go with that. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, we'll try and change the questions a little bit for Lewis, but there might be some same ones there because I can't really think of any questions at the moment. Let's start off with a pretty simple one. Favourite track? Not Cal, I'll get battered. <laughs> uh, Favourite motorbike brand? 
Fuck up, yeah. <laughs> Strategic choice there. Um, okay, so what we we'll give him the same favorite color. Blue. Okay. Um, favorite city. Edinburgh. And favorite race you've participated in. Uh, um, this isn't very quick, is it? Um, not really had one. <laughs> okay, that's in springtime. Okay, so. Who is your idol? Has to be Rossi. Rossi, okay. And if you had a chance to race with anyone alongside you in the same team, uh, who would it be? Um, probably Marquez, just unreally. Everybody has to respect him how he rides a bike. Yeah. Okay, that will uh, round this uh, quick five questions up, so thank you.